Hello guys, I'm Lister. <laughs> I really should start this one day like this, but not now. Probably you know about me uh, a lot from some sort of rumors and storytellings and as founder of Doom LSD mod or groupie or henchmans or community, I don't know. But this video will ruin your whole previous worldview in most occasions. Also, I wanted to say that all I will show and say next is not some sort of drama or shit like this for me personally, cause this whole situation looks rather hilarious for me. And it's some sort of drama only for those who participate in it only, I repeat, only from opposite side. Cause first of all, I wanted to tell you that in 99 persons all you heard about me is pure lie. Yeah, I'm not saint, I never regret it, but looking through current Doom community makes me thinking that I am. Uh, anyway, let's get it started. First of all, I wanted to tell you that LSD was never in copy-pasted version of Klustifru. Reading such messages here and there makes me laugh sometimes too hard. Mainly reason why, cause LSD existed more than KF, so how it could even be possible then. Explain me, please. Idea of making LSD mode a standalone mode came to me when I saw Complex first time. Idea was not fresh at all. Random spawns, rather stupid enemies, casual mechanics. Then I saw add-ons called LC, RM and H. Main problem in, in all this mess was that Complex worked with LC and RM, but LC and H were incompatible with each other. Only later we discovered how much shit code was in all these mods and submods, trust me, really it was a lot. I asked a lot of people and all they said to me that it was impossible to link these mods and submods in one spawn list. Again, later we discovered that it was possible, they just could not do it. After digging this nasty swamp of code, we discovered why they could not link it to one. But as for us, we spent a lot of time and with our skills and god blessing, I guess, finally it was almost ready. Fixed chitons of bugs, missing sprites, rotation states, etc. And uh, of course, that could not go unnoticed. During some period of time, we started to add some features, mechanics, specials, rewrote fully bad complex spawner, added usability of argument 5, which allowed you to bind certain mod or boss or thing using vanilla mobs as roots. And all this turned it into LSD mod itself. Then, maybe during half of the year, I can't say more exactly, cause much time has passed. There were tons of people which thought that we owed them something, really. Among them was Dusted himself. Of course, during this time, I started to realize that uh, most of them can't stand against even the thought that someone can do something bigger, better and optimized. And that is really funny for me, cause I never saw such hypocritical routine behavior in most community ambassadors. Why I thought that they are? All simple, they tried to scare me by banning and to complain on me to Mifu, really. Well, returning to main chapter. All worked rather good, we reduced a lot of lags by refactoring whole shit code, but I wanted something that was not casual. Cause yeah, I dislike casuality and I dislike games where you are almost god and there is no challenge at all in any case. I will show you a lot of stuff which we did in next videos or you can watch the Russian versions of it, but it will be a bit later. So, would return to Dust and his company. As far as we moved forward in our storyline, we saw more and more attempts to use our code for personal aims and claiming as their own. For example, we started to do LSD versions like 1.0.0, 1.0.1, .1, and after almost every version, I saw that more and more and more and more other shitty submods appeared. And of course, its authors claimed it as his own personal mods. And mainly, 
I can say the biggest uh, pile of nasty stuff was Clusterfuck. I really laughed a lot when I saw first time it's teaser. Big brand new Unicue Kuria. Seriously, there was no any big mod for a long time. And suddenly from nowhere huge standalone mod from one man. The situation even looked so stupid that I couldn't even imagine that so much people uh, will believe in this bullshit. Mods work is rather huge and complicated work itself, in all spheres, and if you do it by your own. It can't be done just for a few hours, of course it is, if it is not some trash stuff, especially when uh, mod claimed itself as dusted did. Like big brain new uh, 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 something like this. Funniest thing in all the situation that KF was in closed version and was not able to public. It was rather strange, logically, cause if you want your mod be popular, why you should hide it? But later we... Again, we imagined why, but we wanted some sort of moral proof for that, and we got it, as usual. Jesus, it was trash art, and most epic moment was missing LSD scripts errors in console, in his, as Dusted claimed, his personal mod. Of course, after all the situation, and when I asked what the fuck, I turned into molester doxer security risk. I can't even remember all of my achievements called the too much and many of them. Of course, a lot of henchmen started to spread bullshit, bullshit against me, and it was really funny to watch. One of them spread that I doxed Project Brutality moderators for years. But as you see, reality was a bit different. <laughs> Another one talked trash every time he saw LSD bits, but to prefer to steal from us for some reason. <laughs> also, some examples from others. How could you even say about giving back or some sort of like this if you didn't even do a little thing for modding by yourself? And I don't mean recoloring fucking sprites. This one also. How it can be even possible if we had fully standalone mod and KF came after LSD? Explain me, please. This is also funny to watch. Uh, what? Uh, your salvation sphere which you don't even know how it even works? What the fuck? And then you try to tell everyone that you did not even know what I'm talking about and making prey from yourself? For serious? We credited, as, as for us, we credited all authors of sprites and admit original sprites authors which we found and never credited copy pasters. I guess it's normal thing. I can go on forever, trust me, because I have uh, tons of screens of similar content like this. And as for me, best example of KF shitness was Black Rune, which was stolen and never used properly and close folk. Probably of you even remember this Black Rune. Why? Because KF members never realized even for what purpose it was done in LSD and how it worked in LSD again. Also, during this long way road, we started to do huge multipass maps called Extra. I repeat, I don't like casuality and so on. Again, I heard, why, why it is not possible, it can't be done, no way. And again, we did things which were impossible only for others. And what we are having now. These maps became almost local memes in almost in whole Doom community, even among haters, and became some sort of symbol of challenging. 15, almost even 20 plus keys, 10,000 mobs for present beta state, and almost 25,000 in final planning version. 
three or four or even five ways to pass it from start. It is only one first uh, playable extra. Yeah, baby, it is not one way corridor map. It has multipass. <laughs> Second map, 65, all, even almost 70 solvents of mobs, 25 plus case, and more than five ways to pass it from start. Just imagine this. And I can't say it is pure slaughter map at all. Like Chillux, for example, cause of its pure size. Just imagine that we added here online, added most challenging mod, and reduced all locks. Just imagine that. Sounds unbelievable, yeah? <laughs> well, maybe for you, but not for us. Check out Listeronum Showcase videos, link in description. So, in conclusion, I just wanted to say that I started all this mod making theme for my own will. Most of this community can only steal and never say even thank you for real author. And as I said twice already, I dislike casuality. I wanted some fresh and new, which could be some sort of an uh, RPG probably, which will use your creativity and imagination and skills to kill almost every, even one mob or boss. It doesn't really matter. I wanted to do some stuff which will provide you unique experience online mainly. Cause why not? Nobody forces to play you online, it, it is just an option thing. And those reasons and my madness, as I can say, turn it into this. You can like or dislike such type of gameplay, I really don't care. But forcing you and forcing others to lie about me, my activity and another stuff? linked with me, I mean, will have certain consequences, don't forget it. For example, consequences will determine price of our incoming engine called Listeronum for every certain man. Trust me, I will push this rule to the fucking limits. My engine, my rules, remember and try not to forget it. And when you will come to me and starting to cry that I owe you to give free version and something like that, <laughs> I guess you know what I will answer to you. I always was, I always am, and I always will be your moral mirror. More shit I will see, more problems you will have later playing or even getting cholesterol. Just don't forget it. Bye.